going to make a doll room inspired by Pokemon using a large cereal box, cardboard, a t-shirt, pillow fluff, felt or fleece, paper, fabric, the inserts and box from a deck of Pokemon cards, beads, toothpicks, paint, clear plastic, and glue. I start by cutting down the side of a cereal box so that it can open up. Remove the top tabs, sketch out a window, cut it out, cover the raw edges with paper, cover the outside of the box with paper so it will have a clean look on the shelf. On the inside, I cover the top with a red paper, white on the bottom, add a strip of black paper across the middle, a circle followed by another one on top. Glue clear plastic over the window, glue covered cardboard around the edges, add a thin strip of paper across the center to complete the window. Cut a long piece of paperboard, cover it and the bottom of the box with scrapbook paper to make the floor. Cut rectangles of cardboard, cover with paper, glue them together, make another that stands tall. I make a smaller one, only this time I turn it around. Add a shelf, a piece on front, a faux drawer, and a piece of metallic paper for a nightstand. Add faux drawers to the taller box to make a dresser. Cut two rectangles of fabric, add a layer of felt or fleece, sew a straight line around the edges leaving an opening so we can turn it inside out. Sew the opening closed to make a mattress. Make a smaller one and fill it with fluff to make a pillow. I cut a Pokemon t-shirt, place a coordinating fabric on top, then a soft felt or fleece. Sew just as before, turning it inside out to make a plush Pokemon comforter. Use leftover fabric for another throw pillow. Beside the bed on the floor, I glue down strips of white paper to look like a field. Glue a toothpick into a bead, paint it, glue the cap from a glue stick on top, wrap it with a piece of paper, glue it to a button for more support to make a Pokeball lamp. I take an extra play mat from a deck of Pokemon cards and on the back, we can cut out images from the instructions, like this miniature card, glue a small cutout on the back to make a doll-sized trading card. And I'm just gonna place them on the dresser and the nightstand. And the larger images can be a jumbo card for a 10 to 12 inch, or the perfect size for an 18 inch doll. We keep our cards and sleeves so we end up with empty boxes. And I am going to cut the box to make a poster. I make a few more cutouts from the packaging to make posters around the room. We add a hat from our doll baseball cap video, cut a piece of cardstock, fold it to make the outside of a binder, cover it, glue some of the card cutouts back to back, and close it in a piece of clear tape, trim it to fit inside the book, and if they're small enough, you can fit more than one to a page. Use a small piece of tape to tape it to the spine to make a binder of trading cards that I can store on the bottom shelf of the nightstand. Finish the room with a few Pokemon toys and you're done. Happy crafting! give a shout out to Haytham at your bar. What's up? <gasps> There's one nearby. I better hurry before it gets away. Sophie. Oh, I see she's redecorated her side of the room. But where did she go? Sounds like she just left the house. I know it's around here somewhere. Sophie, wait up. There you are! Gotcha! Sophie, 
I've been chasing you over town. What are you doing? Sorry, Chloe, no time to talk. I have to walk two kilometers to hatch an egg. By the way, there's a rat attack on your shoulder. What? Where is it? I can't see it, get it off of me. I would, but I don't need any more of those.